Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I would like to talk about Grin. And they have a hard fork coming up real soon in the next month or so. So, let's go through it, guys. So, you guys know that Grin launched mainnet January 15th of 2019 of this year. So, that was a good five months or six months ago, right? So, they have a hard fork here. That will be in about 33 days and 3 hours as of making this video. Uh, by the time you guys see this video, it'll probably be 32 days. And you can see here the current block, it says 214,278. And the hard fork will happen at the block exactly at 262,080 blocks, okay? So there's 47,802 blocks to go, okay? Interesting, interesting. I, I don't follow Grin much, but uh, thanks to one of my Discord members, um, Dave Wolf, he gave me this link, and so I thought I'd make a video about Grin. I haven't, I haven't actually, actually talked about Grin for a while, uh, but uh, since, since this is a mining channel, I'd like to give you guys, you know, news about uh, GPU mineable coins. Okay, so let, let's keep it going here. Um, Grin version 2 is a network-wide upgrade, okay? Users are not required to do anything. So if you guys are mining, we don't have to do anything. Um, stored grins will not be affected. Beware of scams telling you to move your coins anywhere. Okay, so beware of that, guys, if you guys are into grin. Uh, miners, wallets, and exchanges are required to update their grin software in order to transact after the upgrade. Users are not required to do anything. Okay, great. And when is this happening? I already mentioned the block number. And so the estimated around there, a re estimated time for the hard fork will be around July 17th of 2019. So pretty cool. So about in, in a month or so, 30, 33 days. What are the upgrades? Okay, this is interesting. So let's, let's look at this. The secondary proof of work algorithm. Okay, so the hard fork is going to affect the uh, proof of work algorithm of Kakaroo 29. So it'll move from Kakarood 29 to Kakarood 29. Okay, it looks like they just added a D after the Kakaroo. So Kakarood 29. In order to retain the ASIC resistance of the secondary algorithm, uh, the other proof of work algorithm, Kakar 231 plus, will continue its a its ASIC for its a for its ASIC miners. Okay, yeah. So the Kakarood Kakar 231 plus um, is still gonna be uh, the ASIC. The ASIC al the algorithm for ASIC miners, and I'll show you guys a bunch of ASIC miners in a second here. Um, yada yada. Okay, let's let's done that. That's it. So hard fork in about thirty three days, guys. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that Grin, they did they did mention they did mention that they will hard fork about four times in the first two years. Okay, so as as Grin just started um, in January 15th, they are staying true to their word of, of hard forking. Uh, so uh, they have four more times to go, okay? Four more times to go. And uh, yeah, they actually have cool, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of uh, timelines uh, that they want to stick to. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool on Grin's part. Okay, so the next part, guys, I, I want to explain and just kind of give my thoughts on is the Grin network and just the hash rate and where the hash rate is has been for the past, you know, half year. So as you guys can see right now, it looks like the Grin difficulty, it looks like it was, was pretty high at 3.27 Gs, but now it's down at around 2.7. So look at this this big drop off from June 9th all the way down to June 10th from 3.22 to to 2.22. That was a pretty big pretty big drop off. Interesting. But um, let's let's just take a look at uh, miningpoolstats.stream guys. I use this site a lot to check out uh, network difficulty and hash rate of certain coins. And okay, so let's look at Grin Kakaroo 29 first as of now. So. As, as you guys can see here, we can see that there's about, um, uh, let's see, 50.2% 50, 50, 50 hash rate on sparkpool.com. Spark pool and this is a Chinese pool. And then the next big hash rate pool is F2 pool at 27%. 
And F2 pool, in my opinion, or it is, it is a, it is a Chinese pool as well. So, looking at that, it looks like Grin, uh, Grin Kakaru 29 has 77 percent uh, of the network hash rate of Kakaru 29, guys. And that, in my eyes, is okay. So Chinese is basically dominating 77 percent of Kakaru 29, the GPU mineable coin, and. It does show here on mining pool stats that there is 26% unknown and we can go here and look I have found out that nice hash of course is mining the gain grin cockatoo 29 algorithm as well so they're at about 183 um, graphs kilographs I guess that's how you mention it kilographs per second and it looks like they are the other unknown um, hash rate about around there so um, okay, so NiceHash are around the world. There's around 7,000 miners on NiceHash mining Grin Kakaru 29 as of making this video. Um, but we can't really see, let's see, how many miners are mining uh, on SparkPool. So 651, guys. So I'm going to say that there are huge miners, huge mining farms on SparkPool and F2Pool mining to Grin right now, the Kakaru 29 algorithm. And in my opinion, when there's a lot of Chinese people or Chinese hash rate coming out of China, uh, it, it's it's not it's not good in my eyes. It, it feels like kind of like a scam to me, and that's just my opinion. But take it for as you take it take it as you will. Um, I'm not saying Chinese people are scam scammers, but um, I can say that about myself because I'm half Asian. So, <laughs> not saying that I'm a scammer, but. When you see about 77% of the hash rate coming out of China, ah, that just question just is just very questionable. And then we look at Grin 31, okay? Kakaru Kaka 2 31, which is the ASIC algorithm. It's also most of the hash rate is coming out of China. F2 pool, sparkpool.com. You add these to add, add these together, it's about 70% of the network hash rate coming out of China. And there's 19% unknown hash rate coming out of the Kaka 231. So that could be China as well. I'm not sure. And um, uh, looking at the uh, ASIC profitability charts, the ASIC minor value, you can see that there's these obelisk uh, Grin 1 immersions, uh, Grin 1, Grin 1 mini. Um, you can see the insane profitability right now on those miners which apparently they're releasing October 2019. So still a bit away uh, for these uh, ASIC miners to come out. But man, if these make $1,100 or $1,200 a day or $600 a day or you know $100 a day on the Grin 1 Mini, man, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. And of course, you know, the first backers of these are going to be Chinese, the Chinese manufacturers, right? So... You're gonna see this profit dwindle down most likely here let's go to the graph um, okay so it looked like the graph has jumped up considerably in profit but that's that's because the price is going up but as as these are releasing to the first batch of people it'll it'll go down shortly after and then second batch and then third batch and so on and so forth um, uh, there's then the InnoSilicon G32 Grin Miner so the these are coming out for the next um, uh, for the next hard fork I believe so uh, Kaka 2 32 plus algorithm so um, these are interesting you can see G32 uh, Grin 31 plus for the immersion yeah I, <laughs> I I'm not a I'm not I'm not gonna give my huge opinion of if I'm a fan of these or not but you guys can uh, take it with a grain of salt do your own research and um, yeah, so uh, let's just give uh, GPUs a good look here on the profitability on Grin. So you can see on a 1660 Ti at 10 cents a kilowatt, it looks like okay, yeah. Uh, a Eternity Swap Kakaru 29, and then Grin on night on Nice Hash and by itself Kakaru 29. It looks like uh, the 1660 Ti is not bad in profitability, 65 cents after electrical cost. So. Yeah, take that as you will, guys. That's that's of that's of as of making this video. So who knows tomorrow? You know, uh, the grin profitability 
changes all the time. Raven coin changes all the time. Z coin profitability changes all the time. So yeah, it, it could change at any point, guys. So take it as you will. Um, just just giving you guys the information about the hard fork mainly that will be happening in about 33 days. So keep watching this, guys. I'm not sure if the price of grain is going to go up or going to go down, but you know they're 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 staying ASIC resistant, right? So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me let me know what you think down below. And uh, if if you are interested in Grin, then congrats to you from the price going up recently. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Smash the like button, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Click subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you guys like what I'm doing here, I keep you guys updated as best I can in terms of news and just mining stuff in general. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.